Once you have registered your AeroPress, you will receive an email with an invitation to create a password to gain access to the Aero Connectivity dashboard. Click the link to create a password. The password must be at least eight characters in length with at least one upper and one lower case and one numeric character. Before clicking Submit, accept the privacy policy, terms, and conditions. After clicking Submit, it will bring you to the dashboard login screen where you can enter your email and password. Click Submit. This will bring you to the dashboard. To manage users, click Manage Users to create additional users. Click Create User in the upper right-hand corner. Fill out the user form, beginning with first name, last name, email, phone number, user role, language, and select company from the drop-down list. Click Save and an email invitation will be sent to the user to join your company's dashboard. To manage presses, click Manage Arrow Presses to add each of your arrow presses to the dashboard. Click Create Press in the upper right hand corner. Select your company from the drop down. Enter the press serial number, which may be found on a label at the rear of the press. Choose a nickname if desired. Click Save. After downloading the Aero mobile app to your smart device, use the same email and password you created for the dashboard to log into the mobile app. After logging in, Aero presses that you have added to the dashboard are listed. If a press is listed and shows with all capital letters, then your press has not been added to the dashboard. Go to the dashboard to add that press. If a press is not shown or has a gray background, please refer to the troubleshooting guide in the instruction manual to determine possible solutions. If your press is showing with a white background as shown in this video, tap that row to go into more detail about that press. Then tap connect in the upper right hand corner to connect to the arrow press. A blue light will illuminate on the start button of the press, indicating that you are connected. There are two main banners on the mobile app, one for updating firmware and one for uploading splice cycle logs. The banners will show red if action needs to be taken. If the banners are green, items are up to date. In this example, the firmware is up to date, but the splice cycle logs need to be synced. Tap the red banner to start the data sync. The time of this sync will vary depending on the number of cycles to be synced. It will take approximately one second per cycle. Timing will also vary depending on internet and Bluetooth connection speeds. Once the sync is complete, the banner will show green indicating it is up to date. It is good practice to upload the splice cycle logs every 30 days. In the dashboard, click on Manage Arrow Presses to view your arrow presses. Click on the serial number of the press you want to view. Here, you can view the firmware update history. Click on Event Log tab to view splice cycle logs that you synced using the mobile app. This contains all the cycle setting information for that press. Scroll down and click the boxes next to the cycles that you want to view. It's possible to select 1 to 25 cycles. Click the graph icon to view splice cycle data in graph format. Views include pressure, top temperature, and bottom temperature. By hovering your mouse over the graph line, you can see specific data information for each cycle. This is a useful tool for comparing cycles and understanding your splicing output. For any questions, please contact flexco.com.